Seaphology is one of the newest techniques being used in the field of voter polling. Essentially, it is the statistical study of elections and trends in voting. It is the tool used by pollster Dr. Justin Peer to predict local and regional elections. It has been facing severe critique from some parties, and most recently, some Grenadians have shared concern with potential threats to privacy. According to Dr. Peer, there are several international companies who collect data which can gather social media responses and views per minute, as well as cell phone usage in particular areas and even facial recognition. For example, um, you may have um, maybe the let's say the 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 prime minister, for example, or the opposition leader may may post something. Maybe they may have a, a all of that is captured. There are the organization that captures every all of the faces, everything within that type of within that type of environment. And there are not one or two or three. There there are a lot of companies. That's a business. And what they do is that they they make inference. They and uh, the these are large uh, and uh, they are they are database bases um, bases, and um, yeah, so so people collect data. So what and there are many uh, many organizations that take these databases, and and you can subscribe to these da databases, and they, it might be anonymized. So you may you may not know how many persons you you know. For example, you can say he says from these databases. The fight has been taken to human trafficking in some parts of the world. This technology is now being used to predict elections, carry out surveys, and even assist law enforcement in solving crime. Let's say, for example, you know, somebody gets, let's say she got shot on or killed on, on Granite's Beach, for example, at, you know, 12.30. And if that person has a cell phone, what what there's technology that can you know collect a date stamp a date stamp twelve thirty but within they could they could identify all the cell phones that are pinging with, within thirty feet from from that person and give that evidence to the police they the, they are the police can can um, do their their investigations and um, uh, arrest that person. The poster points to the recent NDC rally in Telescope where a detailed report was prepared based on the data prepared. So for example, there are there are, there are, there are social there are companies that can get the video that can get any video that was uploaded. You may upload a, a video from let's say a friend on Facebook or inter, in, or, or the internet or anywhere. So that the, these companies can get that database, every video, three, four hundred videos, and 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 just collect that and and people can and they, they could make inference from from these kind of these kind of um, um information though noting the privacy concerns he expressed that such technology will be used to predict grenada's election definitely i i think that it would be would not be deterred uh, what we want to do now is to be more precise uh, first of all we have to follow our methodology we should make predictions I mean, within seven days or uh, five days, you know, because that's the standard. That's what's the industry standard: seven days or five days before before any, before an, um, an election. Doctor Pierre says people must become aware of the technology that is available, and the data being collected by international companies, where data protection laws are not yet updated to protect citizens' privacy. And you know, we in the Caribbean should also be prepared for it because obviously there there are there are privacy issues with, with regard to that. Like in Canada, you know, this cannot be allowed in in Canada, but in the Caribbean, because there there, there are very few uh, uh, data data, pri data privacy organizations or, or data privacy laws. In fact, on ten out of the fifteen countries, only ten out of fifteen countries in the Caribbean have data privacy laws. I am Jared Joseph reporting.